Hi Taurus, how are you? I am here to do your 12 house check-in spread. I already pulled your first card, okay, which is the creator. I pulled this because you have Uranus going um, in retrograde for the third time in your first house. Okay, this is a, going to affect you on an external basis that's, you know, Uranus can be quite apparent. So if you've had big changes at home or in major partnerships in your life, business partnerships, marriages, live-in relationships, um, or career, Okay, um, they can be apparent, you know, um, to the external world as well. That said, you're also subject to lightning genius, you know, and um, a lot of, you know, you know, your um, your inklings can be pretty strong right now. You know, if you have any kind of like, um, I don't know, psychic abilities or anything like that, Uranus is associated with that. Those can get stronger, you know, um, messages, things like that, that you feel like you're getting. Um, in a dream state or anything else can get a little bit stronger. Um, the North Node is also going through Taurus, which I think is very auspicious, especially for you guys um, and, and everyone, you know, um, especially when we're dealing with a Uranian issues, you know, um, that, you know, some of the changes you make right now, and especially if you are a creator in any way, you're creating something new, um, can, you know, really, really be on point. And whereas you've probably had a lot of changes since it first entered, you know, um, you're coming back into line with kind of the universal calling or whatever, you know, and whatever that means to you, you know. Um, so if you've had some destabilizations and you've had some relooks, you know, you need to definitely pay attention to those, especially if they ran alongside um, Uranus's retrograde, okay, um, especially since uh, the North Node is now in your first house, okay. Um, whereas most of my readings are for, you know, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, whatever it is you like to check. These particular 12 house check-ins will be um, most appropriate for you if you are a Taurus Rising or a Taurus Sun. Okay. Um, what else do I want to discuss? Um, Saturn, okay, um, the uh, Greek Hellenistic ruler of um, Aquarius, all right, is in... Um, has Saturn in it in Aquarius and it's squaring with Uranus and that square is good is very strong and going and it happened last year too but it's been going for about a month and it's going to come to a tighter orb um, it's going to come to a tighter orb uh, in October a very tight orb in October and then it'll release so some of that tension and you may have had a lot of responsibilities especially at work because um, Aquarius rules your uh, 10th house okay which tends to have to do with career you may have had big step ups and with those step ups a lot of extra duties okay a lot of drudgery a lot of things like this uh, with the planets in retrograde you could be going back to look at things rebuild structures and whenever we're dealing with a uh, Uranus and um, Saturn square there can be some what we call tower moments um, or, you know, and complete overhauls or teardowns of structures to rebuild, okay? And you, you literally may be doing demo, you know what I mean? For all I know, for some of you may, especially if you're building a new home, okay? Um, I can see that playing out that way, all right? Um, your house of romance, children, and creativity is Virgo, and you currently have Venus, your ruler, going through Virgo. Um, and Virgo will be creating a square to Mars, all right? And Mars is your 12th house ruler as well as the Hellenistic ruler of Scorpio, your 7-7 seven, seven sign, okay? So there could be, um, there could be some tensions um, in partnerships, all right? Um, somewhat around the square, although that's, you know, it is a passing faster transit, okay? Um, I want my second house for my Taurus. All right, but you know, your second house um, being Gemini, um, you have Mars going through Gemini, and so I think that you guys have a lot of power or drive going through um, your second house of income, all right? So you probably have a lot of willpower to make, make the money and get the bag right now. Um, and sometimes, you know, um, when you're dealing with inner planets, that can actually show up as an energy. So, you know, you might have a person that's helping you along, you know, along that stretch, okay? Or comes around that, you know, has a lot of drive and ambition, a lot of willpower, a lot of passion behind what they do that can really help you step up, okay? Um, you're pulling here with the bridge in the second house. So some of you literally may have... Um, 
some sort of something going on here with other people as well in the second house, okay? Whether that be via partnerships or something, okay? I'm gonna explore it. Um, I want my, on the third house, you have the eternal child, okay? And the third house has to deal with um, close networks, siblings, um, also has to deal with, um, you know, communications of all kinds, all right? Um, and, you know, you, you guys um, you guys may have somebody in your um, environment or you may be a child at heart in one way or another but we're gonna we're gonna explore it give me my fourth house okay um, your fourth house is ruled um, by Leo all right um, or by the Sun um, and Leo any anything you have in Leo is opposing um, whatever you have in um, Aquarius okay and that and as well as Saturn which is an Aquarius all right so anything you have in that area would also be squaring your first house okay um, you're pulling here with the poet which again makes me think that some of you are highly creative um, or dealing with somebody that's highly creative um, you're pulling here with the maiden in the fifth house which I love for you especially with your ruler in there right now some of you may have um, a single person that's of um, interest to you um, up here at this time or um, beyond the horizon or you may be this maiden okay we're gonna look at it um, but with Venus there you know um, as well as the Sun in Virgo um, currently I think that that's wonderful um, you're popping here with the shadow in the sixth house Okay, um, and any shadow issues that you're dealing with yourself, okay, whether those are health, the sixth house has to do with everyday duties. Um, it's normally attributed to the house of Virgo. Um, you know, it's its normal home plate. Um, but um, for you guys, for you guys, it's Libra, all right? And, um, you know, Mercury is going through Libra currently and is in retrograde, but it is creating a trine to um, Mars, which is in your second house. So there could be a lot of talks and action, okay? Or, and they could, there could be talks about your health right now, too. Or you could be taking a look at your health, whether that be emotional, spiritual, or physical, okay? And um, addressing certain issues with your health. And there may be some debate around those issues, even if it's within your own mind, especially since it's opposing Jupiter, which is in Aries, and Aries rules your 12th house something like this so like you know if if your father or mother or family has some condition you know that you also deal with there may be like a lot of talks debates or you know um, self-care that's going on there right now um, for you okay it'll play out differently for all of you but um, I can see that with the aspects at play right now um, I will be pulling general tarot as well once I get these down um, and pulling some Lenormand today as well there's been some heart, hot cards in some of these readings. It's like some of these themes related to um, certain aspects in the sky like have been popping up. You are popping here with the vow. Holy shit. Popping here with the vow on the seventh house. So I'm not sure. Um, I feel like, you know, some of you may meet somebody that you want to marry if you're not married. Um, others of you um, may be taking some sort of literal, um, I don't know why am I saying secrecy vow, but some sort of um, vow in regards to business partnerships or arrangements like that as well. Um, but with what's going on in the fifth house as well as the seventh house, you guys may have, um, whether, you know, be, you know, you may meet somebody or something that you um, think can go the long haul and they very well may, or you may be married, okay? Um, I'm gonna be pulling on it, okay? On the 11th house, um, on the 11th house, I'm pulling with the empty room, okay? Um, and the 11th house has to do with networks, okay? And the house of good spirit, okay? And you have Neptune going through there right now, which is the modern ruler of Pisces, okay? Um, but there may be, some people that you're missing that used to be in your networks or something like this um, going on. But I'm going to take a look at it, okay? Or you may be breaking away from some of your networks, especially if you're involved in some big change or be facing breaking away from some networks due to other changes that you make in your career or with yourself or on your other access points that are being let off right now, okay? But we're going to take a look at it. 
We're going to take a look. You're popping with the riddle here and the 12th. And again, I told you the queen is at the bottom. Um, I, there's a lot of feminine energy showing up here. Um, whether that's you, it's the queen, the storm, and the flame. Holy shit. I feel like some of you, um, and it's followed by arrows. Um, those of you that are not coupled are probably going to meet somebody that's rather significant to you um, if you don't already have your eye on somebody. Okay, and that can happen with, with um, Uranus going through your first house. Normally, um, I would say be very careful because sometimes people can come in with Uranian energy and you can have that like whirlwind romance and then it doesn't go the distance. But even if um, that were the case, if somebody new comes in um, with the North Node um, being in your sign and you know Uranus headed back that way, I feel as if... Um, you shouldn't worry about instability as much as trying something, especially if it lights your fire or is exciting. Because um, with it being so close to the North Node, I feel as if even if it doesn't last, it will change your life in one way or another for the positive. Okay? Um, that there's something meant to be about it. Okay? Um, Taurus can like stability. So, um, you know, especially if you've had changes over partnerships or something like this. Um, you can, you know, be like, shit, I like my routine. I, you know, I mean, a Taurus can be very, um, particular about their routine as well as their home comforts and all of those things. So if there's been a lot of changes in those areas, you know, you may not be looking to rechange them, but something may inspire you to do so. <laughs> all right. Um, and I do feel as if some of you are highly creative right now. Um, you know, uh, especially, you know, or somebody that is in your life is highly creative, okay? Um, or will be, okay? Um, I'm going to pull some Lenormand on each of these before I start pulling some tarot. This riddle here in the um, 12th house, okay? If you've had any health issues, especially with this shadow opposing the six, you know, continue to seek, you know, medical advice, you know, and, and opinions. If you're dealing with any kind of physical um, ailments that you can't pinpoint, you know, maybe um, consider going, you know, going um, for a second or third opinion, you know, until you're comfortable that they know exactly what they're dealing with. Um, you know, I don't, you know, who would do that. Um, you know, but this could also be applicable to um, inward shadow work you're doing on a spiritual or physical basis as well. All right. Um, and I feel like some of these messages or this riddle, do you ever wake up from a dream and you're like, man, I got to remember the whole thing because you got this brilliant idea in it. I feel like that's like something like this with this riddle. Okay. I feel like your mind may be so on fire with ideas that sometimes you're like, shit, I can't forget that. <laughs> like, what did they say to me in that dream? Something like this. Um, Um, we're popping here. I'm, I'm using some extended Lenormans. I'll call them out as I go, and then I'm going to go over them, and then I'm going to pull um, some small tarot and some larger spreads um, based on certain access points um, or factors. Again, I feel as if um, some of you may be dealing with some partnership cycles closing or opening or have at some point with this bridge and the bond. You may, Some of you may be dealing with alimony or child support issues um, or considering them or dealing with some sort of prenup, postnup issues as well um, or, you know, splits. This can happen, especially with Uranus um, opposing your seventh house or just be considering them, especially if you are further along in your life and you're like, oh, no, I'm not going to ever do that again or something like this and you need to, um, I don't know, try your hand at love, but are scared or something like this, okay? Um, others of you could just really be um, really doing well, okay? Um, on a love front as well, or you will be, okay? Um, with this creator, I popped with the tower. You popped with the tower here, all right? Um, 
and that has to do with um, legalities as well as hierarchies. It's almost like um, it's almost like the pope or the um, or the high priest. All right, um, the hierophant in traditional tarot, which is your major arcana card. Okay, so I feel like you guys have the ability to really step it up in life right now, despite anything that's happened, even if you've had a change in career or something like this. Um, you have a lot of for fortuitous matters to reinvent yourself here, okay? Um, there's something here at home, okay, which again is Leo and... Um, I have seen, you know, series is going through Leo, so there may be like a harvest or a breakup or issues to do with children or child custody or something like this that's gone on in the home or that you're wrapping up or something like this or considering something like this. Because um, with series going through um, the fourth house or any house, a series can sometimes I can see that um, bringing up stuff, especially when it's on a seventh house or a fourth house, you know, on a major access um, point house. Um, you know, others of you may reap a significant harvest at home, like be building a new home or something of this sort, or if you're in the building business, make a lot of money that way. Like if you're in building or real estate, you can have a very fortuitous time. Okay. A lot of challenges, but a fortuitous time. Okay. Um, Okay, um, you are popping here uh, on this fourth house with the poet. You're also getting the yarn, okay, which is like can be issues and problems and like, I don't know, um, complications, all right? And there may be complications with what you want. Um, on this eternal child, you popped here with fireworks, okay, which has to do with a lot of communications. I feel like if somebody new comes into your life or the communications are just really hot and exhilarating right now, um, you may have, um, if you do meet somebody, they may have, even if they're very mature, they may have like a childlike demeanor that you find very attractive or that may be you, you know, and, and especially if you are a creator, there may be something that you're putting out there that's just very um, fresh, fresh but mature, something like that. Um, with this, um, with this shadow, I do see a coffin. All right. So, and especially since it opposes your 12th house, um, you know, 12th house can deal with death as well as eighth house. So some of you, again, may be dealing with somebody that passed or the loss of somebody via breakup that's affected your health. Okay. Um, in one way or another, um, or some sort of change in your everyday activities. Okay. Um, you know, the end of one routine at work to start another, the end of one project, especially if you have to move or travel for work. I don't know why I'm saying that. Um, I'm just getting that. Um, on the eighth house, you're popping here with a mask. On the, freaking A, on the uh, seventh house where this vow is, you're popping with the wheel of fortune. So I feel as if, if you do have a breakup, it's meant to be, I hate to say that, but it's meant to be. And if you have your eye on somebody else or somebody else new comes in, there's something very divine about the timing with it and the person, okay? The Wheel of Fortune is associated with Jupiter and it's um, very, very fortuitous, all right? And like I said, with it in opposition, um, hang on a second, give me this village. Um, on the eighth house, which is death, taxes, legacy, and inheritance, you're, po you're popping with the mask, the crossroads, the journey, all right, um, independence. So some of you may have had a previous break before or um, facing like issues dealing with um, deep sexual relationships or transformation or the transformation of blended families or something of this sort. Um, here on the ninth house, you popped with the village, which I've popped with three times. And again, there's a bunch of cards here. Um, there's some repetitive themes crossing some of these aspects, which are crazy. Um, and, uh, you know, you are, you're popping with the village here. So I don't, there may be something that you do on travel. Um, that's very important. Um, for those of you that are working on any kind of dissertation or scholarly work, you may really 
get reward there in one way or another. Okay. Um, all right. And um, you may have a lot of support in those areas. Okay. Or some of you may just go um, on some sort of trip or something that's very like expansive for you. Um, on this 10th house, you're popping with the mentor. All right. So there, there is somebody you know, and like I said, there's somebody um, that comes in in your career right now, could be older, um, okay, that also becomes a love interest, all right, you also popped here with man, um, that usually, if I'm reading for one person and I'm reading for a man, that usually represents the querent, um, meaning you, um, but when I'm reading for thousands of you, it could, you know, it could be, um, somebody else and it could be this mentor. All right. Take it as you will. I do feel if this mentor comes in, they're going to be like a prof real professional at their craft and really be able to help you in your career. And that could be a career coach. You know, it doesn't have to be somebody that does the same thing as you do. Um, but it may be. And, and this, it also could turn into something more if somebody new comes in for you. You may have like a love, a love interest in this person or something like that. You may um, be involved in independent contracts with them. I don't know why I'm saying that. Um, of some sort, like you, they may have hired you as a contractor or vice versa. Um, something like this. Um, okay, on this empty room, you're pulling with a bouquet, okay? So, um, I do feel like if there's been a change in your networks, okay, or if somebody left your networks, they may come back in later and you may be able to, um, sew it back in or fix it back up or something like this. Okay. If you've had some pain go through your 11th house. Okay. Because again, Jupiter is going through your 11th house. Jupiter is associated with luck and benevolence and fortune. Um, all right. And the, uh, I'm sorry, Jupiter is in your 12th house, um, and in your 11th house um, is Pisces, all right, and that's where this empty room is, all right, um, and for me to see the bouquet here is like, I'm going to pull something on it, but like somebody that comes in maybe like through your networks or through somebody you know that then becomes a love interest, because for me to have it here with the 10th and the 11th, it's like... I'm gonna look into it. I'm not gonna speak on it anymore yet. On this 12th house with the riddle, um, which again, the 12th house is Aries, um, where you have Jupiter, you're popping here with the whip, arguments, fighting, snap, anger. It can also be a training card though. Um, when I get the whip in the Lenormand, it can also represent training. So again, if there's something related to the health that's coming out in the and from the 6th to the 12th, especially if you are getting any kind of like spiritual, emotional, physical coaching, or if you are an ath athlete or anything like that, and you're working on just making yourself better and better in any way on a 6th, 12th house front, you have luck there to do that with Jupiter, okay? Um, you also have like the possibility of, of, of health issues growing, you know, so again, um, you know, you want to take really good care of your health right now. You have luck to do that. Um, okay. Um, you know, be careful that, um, if you, if there is somebody in your environment that you fight with a lot, you know, it may be affecting your health. All right. Um, so, you know, just make sure you like decide who you want to keep in and out or something like that. You know, it may be time to examine those things. Um, okay. Because, and if you've lost somebody that you used to fight with a lot, this could be represented here too, okay? I'm just getting a lot of messages with this. But um, this, this person, if so, may have like seemed like a riddle. Like you could never make them happy. Or you're still battling with your own shadow issues on whether you ever please that person. Especially if they're like a family member or something like that. Something like that. Um, and you may be doing your own internal shadow work on those matters right now to heal yourself. It's a lot, Taurus. Um, on this um, fifth house, we got the garden and the maiden. So I feel like there may be some um, 
really important uh, event or something like this, you know, and some of you may be like playing the field or something, but you're going to meet somebody if you haven't already. Um, and for those of you that are like in, heavily engaged in um, a creative project, all right, there's going to be something about performance or an event outside or somewhere, venues, pub booking venues, something like this, okay? Um, getting out there in the community, spreading the word or something like this. All right, I'm sorry about that. Um, battery pack change, Taurus. Um, I wanna pull something on this, um, on a couple of these before I pull a spread. I want on this poet here. Some of you, if you are creators um, and you have been through substantial change, something you create um, or funnel into um, an income source may have to do with sharing your experience and the hard lessons too, something like this, okay? Um, you may need to like write or create something to do with the home or structures around the home or something like this, okay? Um, others of you, hold on, yeah. Yeah, I see a lot of you working really, really hard on your home, okay? Carrying a lot of burdens at home. You may have a lot of hassles too. Um, if you are into building or selling a house or something like this or working on a house, you may be involved heavily with it. Um, you may be designing it and it may be very, very creative or reaping a harvest or reward for a house that you redid or something like this, okay? Others of you um, really may want to work on um, spicing back up the romance at home, okay? Um, if any of you have a child that is in their 20s, um, you could have issues with that child. They could be a heavy burden right now if they're at college or something like this that you're carrying, um, but you want to work on your relationship with them. Could be for some of you. Um, hang on. Give me this, um, I want this, I want this eternal child with this. There's some offer that's going to come in um, very, very quickly, or you're going to make a move towards somebody that you want to make an offer towards um, on in your third house of communications, or this is just you communicating and studying, all right? Um, could be, but if you go after somebody, it's somebody that you had your eye on or somebody had their eye on you or something like this. You may get noticed or notice somebody else or something like this that somebody may come and offer you something or you want to offer something to somebody else. And again, it might wind up being um, hot or passionate or explosive or something like this. And something about you is very youthful in this area right now or somebody else in this third house. And it might just be that you're doing all new things, you know. Um, the third house is is um, Cancer. And Cancer is getting trines from, um, from Neptune right now, which is in Pisces, okay. And Neptune can be spirituality. It can also be, the, it's a higher octave of Venus. It can be highly creative, okay. So that is trining off. And again, I feel like... Whatever Taurus rising or sun is showing up here, there's just a lot of signs for your creativity. Even if you've never been a creative person, like something new is very creative. Um, and again, this is the time for it, okay, to reinvent yourself. I see you moving at a quick pace towards this, towards success. The chariot success could also have to do with a cancer or somebody with significant cancer placements, all right, that you may want that you may bring you an offer or that you want to bring an offer, okay? Um, but it's it's very exciting. And Cancer, um, the Chariot is also highly tied to Jupiter, which again, I said is going through your 12th house with um, its, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, Jupiter's going through your 12th house and the ruler of um, Aries, all right, and Scorpio being uh, Mars, all right, for the Greek Hellenistic ruler, and for Aries, it is Mars, period, is in your second house of income sources. So again, I see a big drive or a person, and it could, you know, especially um, the moon is going to be going through there as well. So you, you may have a feminine figure that's very driven that comes in, or something like this. Um, the moon can also be related to your mother, but the moon will be there, and you will feel pretty intense. All right, um, because again, your ruler is in the fourth house, right? The sun is also in the um, 
I'm sorry, the fifth house in Virgo. And the sun is also in Virgo, all right? Something here. Um, hang on, let me look more into this before I keep talking. Give me the bridge and the ring. There's something with a Virgo, maybe a Pisces. You may have been in litigation with a Virgo or Pisces. You may have gone into seclusion um, about something previously. Again, if you're dealing with litigation or had something that you were in hangman mode on, um, that you like felt like you were waiting on, that was previously um, a battle zone where there was some vindictive behavior or something like this. I have the Five of Swords here. It could be involving multiple people, not just two people that um, contributed to that. You, you will be able to find an agreement. Um, and there is a bridge here, so I do see that as a fortuitous sign to um, bridging the gap between prior issues here, if you had them. Okay, four pentacles just fell out on that. Um, give me this tower and the creator. Some of you, um, you know, may feel like tired of waiting on something, on an investment, and want to give up. Don't give up. It's a very specific message. Don't give up if you're very passionate about a specific endeavor, you know. Um, but if it's on a person, you may, um, somebody may have left you waiting too long. Okay, about, um, and if this is you in regards to something else, um, you know, you need to tell somebody or express your interest or something like this. I'm going to look, I'm, I may pull on that right there. Um, some more in a separate spread. Okay, give me this maiden in the garden. Some of you uh, may have somebody with some fire in their chart. Okay, that's a feminine, or you may be this feminine. Um, you may be um, a little bit indecisive about something, and if it's a creative project, I could also see it playing out that way, especially with Mars going through your second. You may be indecisive about taking a gig or something like this, or uh, going on a date, or asking somebody out, communicating with somebody. You should, you should do that. You should do it. <laughs> you should try it. Um, what is this coffin in the shadow here? Okay, um, for those of you that are in recovery or dealing with um, some sort of um, health issues, I see you um, having a brand new start with that or wanting to work on it, a brand new beginning, dealing with any codependency issues yourself or anything like that. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn or have lost a Capricorn or be breaking up with a Capricorn or have the end of a relationship, a housing situation or something else here that's affected your health um, or somebody just something like this, okay? If you have anybody, um, you're popping here with the King of Pentacles, which could also be you. Um, but I do see a brand new beginning around something here to do with health, okay? Um, and I think, you know, you're going through a phase of recognizing your own part in certain things as well with this shadow here, okay? Um, and putting an end to some ways of yours so that you can get some new beginnings that are tangible. And if they are in the realm of mental, spiritual, physical, or emotional health here, you have um, strong indicators that you'll be able to that you'll be able to do that through working on yourself. Okay, which a Taurus, you know, absolutely can. Okay, um, others of you may have somebody significant um, that you you know that helps you with these issues. Okay, they could have. Um, there's no gender in tarot, but um, I would say if so, they're over 35 and they um, may own their own business. Um, and be a very loyal person, if so, okay? For others of you, you may be breaking away from somebody that was toxic like that, okay? Could have um, earth in their chart, does not have to, okay? Give me this riddle and the whip. You may be dealing with your own shadow sides as a father and examining your own father, something like this. Yeah, here you are. Um, on this 12th house with this whip and this riddle, um... We have the Three of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Eight of Swords. 
there's something here that you want to get out of that makes you feel imprisoned or tied up. And the 12th house can deal with feelings of imprisonment, okay, um, with Jupiter in there. Um, it may have to do with a collaboration, friendship, or contract, okay, and the whip. There may have been arguments and, like, you may be trying to think, uh, how the hell am I going to get out of this? That's what I'm hearing. You guys are definitely helping me today. You're on fire with me today. Um, if you've been dealing with any um, relationship issues that you've had to break away from that you felt tied to because of contracts or a marriage or something like this, um, definitely, you know, I have other readings for Taurus where like a full on like, you know, breakups or something have popped up the past couple months. Go back and check my Taurinian um, posts if that's you. Um, because I've had it pop up like twice and it was really intense um, as well as like you know but for others of you this could be about freeing up things with your own health but I feel like this involves another person a commitment or work and um, you know if you if you are an athlete this could affect you as well you, you know um, retraining yourself especially with this but there's something here you're trying to solve Okay, that's left you felt tied up. Um, and it could be in relation to your own health. It could also be in relation to a contract or a deal in some way here that you want to move up, but you're trying to figure it out. And there's some feelings of, and like there could be like you are your own worst enemy or your own, the only one holding yourself in a prison is you. Literally, obviously, if you have contracts with other people, those are forms of double bondage. And you popped with the devil here. Not saying contracts are bad. They're not. They're something we use to make us feel more secure and, you know, ensure that we're protected. Um, however, the things that we use to make us feel more secure, if we decide we want to get out of them later, can make us feel trapped. Okay? But um, a lot of that is a state of your own mind. And I feel like you, you know, you have the backing and the help to work on these things right now however they play out for you, okay? It's gonna be different for all of you. Give me this empty room. Some of you may be afraid to leave something or have dealt with that because of a, um, because it would change up your networks or something as well, especially with this empty room here. Um, but I see that like something very wonderful is gonna come in. Either you, you know, your networks are gonna change, all right, in a very fortuitous manner. There's something here that's going on all right and there may be a transition um hold on let me look at something real quick there may, you know, there may be in a transition here okay definitely check pisces if you're a pisces rising or sun and you're in here for the opposite with taurus um but on this empty room you you know and this bouquet i get the uh the wheel of fortune strength and the knight of rods there's something here about timing and, and either spearheading a new project or coming after somebody, okay? Um, or somebody coming after you. Queen of Cups is trying to pop out on me, um, which is tied to Pisces. But I, I'm also, there may have been something that happened in August or, you know, but there's something here where you need to have a lot of strength about changes going on in your 11th house arena because there's blessings on their way there to you, especially with the Wheel of Fortune um, and Strength and the Knight of Rods being here, you, you know, the Wheel of Fortune is all about divine timing as well as, you know, um, fortuitous moments, okay? Um, and I feel like some of you may meet somebody that comes in from your networks, you know, um, internal or external here. There's just signs all over it, all over the place. And then I have the Wheel of Fortune over here as well. And I feel like it popped. Hold on. Give me. There may have been somebody you're working with with your career that you're leaving, that you were holding on to, or that rejected you, or something like this. And you may be getting some mentorship. Okay, you may have had a father reject you. Again, I already popped this on the 6th, 12th house axis that I discussed with you as well. Especially if your father, like, was your coach for your career or something like this, where um, it's affected your career choices. 
in a ne not in a negative way, but just like affected your creative um, spark to where you know um, you couldn't you didn't want to break a mold or something like that. And if you are a father, be careful about how you coach your children. I'm you know getting that okay um, because they can wind up feeling like you don't love them or something or hold on to the um, a wounding or something here. All right, in a way that makes them feel rejected. So just be careful in the way that you coach them. I don't know why I'm hearing that right now. I think it's especially if you're a masculine. I don't, just getting that, okay? You may have a child that feels a little rejected by you right now. Why am I getting that? That's very specific. Um, others of you may have faced some sort of rejection in your career for something, um, but there's something to it and it's, it's going to work out for you, okay? A lot of you could be going through um, or about to hit some kind of huge thing in your career that um, you get because you didn't give up, okay, on something that you felt really passionate and knew about, okay? Um, and it could be very healing for some old feelings of rejection or poverty or something like this. Or, you know, I, I'm gonna look at this more. Give me this, um, give me this village and the trophy. Yeah, on this, um, there's something with wish fulfillment here that's like very strong, okay? And you, again, I told you guys, some of you, if you have a dissertation or anything like this or something due or something like this um, having to do with higher learning or you travel or something, you may receive some communication that's a wish fulfillment, all right? It could involve a Pisces, does not have to, but it's something that you decide to do based on your intuition. And your intuition, you need to follow your intuition on what you really want when it comes to ninth house arenas. And if you do, it, it, you will wind up with some um, public recognition for it here. Okay? So you're giving me a really, you're giving me a lot of, a lot today. Okay? Um, on this eighth house, I do see some of you excited or stressed about a wedding or a marriage here or a crossroads about a significant love relationship here. I'm going to pull a little bit more on it. If you've had a breakup, it could be because of that. You could feel in a crossroads about trying love again, especially new love, and be affair, afraid of marriage or something like this here. Ace of Cups and the Four of Rods and the Nine of Swords. Or may have somebody come in that, like, I think I feel like I keep saying the same thing. Um, I'm going to look at that, too. Give me this. Um, give me this Vow and this Wheel of Fortune. Um, some of you, if you did have a breakup, it could be between um, somebody with prominent water or air in their chart or something like this. Um, or there may be like... Somebody you have to get rid of to go back after somebody else or something like this. Um, Sorry, I'm just being quiet for a minute because this is pretty intense. Um, for those of you that have been through like a divorce and like that person doesn't want to talk to you anymore or something, or there's like a, um, if you are doing some sort of like agreement that has to do with business, there may be a confidentiality agreement or NDA involved. This is very, you guys are like, you're, you're setting me off today. Um, Scorpio and Taurus can do this very easily with me. Um, I'm going to pull a, um, I'm going to pull a quick Celtic cross on this um, seventh house here. And I'm going to pull a Celtic cross on something else I saw over here that we went over, okay? Let's do that for you, okay? My deck's upside down, so I'm turning it around. 
There's something to do with love here, a love offer here in the seventh house. I see your position as wanting to go after somebody or make a loving offer or something like this here. Or try your hand at love again or something like this. Or, it, or if this is about a creative project and you are a creator, this could be about that. Like I said, it could be, yeah. You may have another contract that's like, hold on. I'm not going to speak until I like pull the whole thing. This is, you're getting, it's getting crazy. King of Swords just popped here too. And I'm doing a cross on this seventh house and we have the King of Swords over there. If you have air in your chart, definitely check the air placement that you have as well um, on your sun or your rising, okay? Whichever is the opposite of what you're in here for. I'm going to call these out in just a minute. There's somebody that you're going to want to marry that's going to scare the shit out of you. Some of you it is, and some of you it's because you're afraid to lose your independence, and some of you it could be because, you know, you've had other relationships not work out in the past or something like this, you know? Okay. Some of you may be afraid of getting manipulated in a long-term marriage relationship or contract. Or, and, it, and it could be, you know, fear and anxiety is, is sometimes based on things we learn, things we're told, or, um, you know, things we've tried that didn't work out. Stars at the bottom. If you're dealing with somebody with Aquarius or you have Aquarius in your chart, um, you may need to do some healing around, around some, you know, deep-seated issues or fears you have around family and marriage. Okay. You guys are like, just like on fire today. I don't, it's that Uranus, thank you. Um, all right. Um, this is what we have here. We have the Knight of Cups crossed by the Three of Pentacles, okay? That tells me that something to do with a collaboration contract or friendship is, is a challenging to your desire to bring an offer of love forward. Knight of Cups. If it has to do with a significant contract to do with a creative project or venture, um, the contract could be held up. Holy shit. Um, the contract could be held up or you could have issues with the details of the contract. Something like this. Um, you may have been in a place of indecision about this before. Stuck at a crossroads about what to do. If you're considering divorce, it could be about that. Again, I've had a Taurus that showed up in some um, live-in or trouble with a marriage or relationship several times over the past few months okay that was pretty they're pretty intricate and involved if that's you go back and check those um if if you want to okay what i have in your heart is something to do with the divine connection here okay this is love this is the two of cups this is a very strong bond it's in your heart so you know you're feeling it for somebody here all right a king of swords or you want it with somebody or something like this King of Swords is crowning you. Um, you could be afraid to speak, okay, and, and be assertive, especially if there's something you have to get out of, okay? Um, or you could be afraid of somebody else with some Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius in their chart that's on your mind, could be. Um, all right, and you know, but I, you're gonna have to make a decision here. In the near future, I see you making a decision, okay? and and. and Okay, I see the timing being right for that. 
Um, I show literally that some of you have a fear of losing your independence, <laughs> you know, um, because I have the seven of wands here. That's your, that's your position. That's what you're putting out there in a seventh house arenas. This looks like you're, uh, nope, nobody's getting in. I'm blocking you. You may have blocked somebody. Did you, I mean, if you blocked somebody you love, I don't know. You know, I don't know, but um, I'm sure it's more complex than that, Taurus, you know. Um, but you have this, Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, this is the position for um, what's in your environment that you may or may not be aware of. This, to me, says that somebody in your environment is going to be losing their independence, okay? Okay. Um, Take it as it resonates, but if you've slept on somebody that you have a lot of feelings for, that you can't get over, or something like this, um, somebody else may come along and grab them. Okay? Could mean that. For others of you, I think it's telling you that, um, again, the Wheel of Fortune is here. The Divine is in charge with Divine Timing, not you. Okay? So there's something here about jumping on the wheel. Okay? Um, and something here. Um, I'm going to pull some clarifiers on these. What I, what I love, you have a fear about being manipulated. Okay. And maybe because somebody manipulated you previously and you may have a fear around your own manipulation, especially if you've ever been a player, a juggler, or, you know, the ultimate bachelor or bachelorette or something like this. Um, there's a fear around manipulation with the with the magician in reverse on your part or somebody else's. Um, and, it, and if it's a contract or a big business deal, it could be about that. And definitely get your lawyers, you know, to check the deal, you know. Um, what I like, <laughs> what I like is the six of wands is here and the potential outcome, which is a victory. That is some public recognition if it is a business deal. Um, it is a victory in love if it's a love deal. Okay. Um, it can also represent ego. Okay. So I am going to pull some clarifiers on it real quick. What is this night of, what is this um, three of pentacles? Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. You guys feel like you lost somebody that was a wish fulfillment, or that the timing wasn't right on something, or that a friendship or collaboration was shut down previously, or you are stuck in some sort of contract with, with somebody. It could be to do with a domesticated partnership or, or something else. Um, where, you, like, right person, wrong time, or something like this could have happened, or you could have royally screwed up something that you wanted, <laughs> and you felt like, shit, now I can't do that. You lost your chance or something, or you feel that way, okay? I'm not saying that's what the case is, okay? Hold on. Give me this, um, give me this two of cups. This could be you as this Queen of Pentacles, but somebody else is involved, as is a contract, as is timing. And um, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Somebody here that you, is on your mind, in your heart, okay, that you want a relationship with, all right, or, or there's going to be, all right? And you may be scared of bringing an offer or living with somebody or something like this. Okay? Because of your independence. Or you may meet somebody that's self-sufficient and independent that you want to bring an offer to. This is pre-Empress Virgo energy. And again, I said that's your fifth house. Okay? Um, something. Okay? Um, hold on. Give me this two of swords. Um, I see that like, again, you were at a place of indecision about give and take and what the fair thing to do about something was in the past and whether to drop your guard. 
with somebody. You may have some serious lulls up here, okay? Or somebody may have, you know, engaged in an improper give and take with you. Let me just make sure it's not about my kids. Um, for those of you that are considering a breakup or were in a space of indecision about a breakup or something like this, okay? You may have been in a period of indecision. Could have to do with a Libra. Does not have to. Give me this um, King of Swords up here. This is about a marriage. Four of Wands, the Moon, and the Four of Swords. Um, some of you may be healing from somebody with some air in their chart. Um, this could be you. Um, but I have a Four of Wands, the Moon, and the Four of Swords. There's, a, there's like a healing from old emotional pain here. And, it, and again, it could be you, especially if you have air in your, in your chart. Um, or somebody else, but there's some fear around foundations, especially marriages, all right? And, and you may have slept on somebody, and you may have hidden emotions for somebody, or you had an emotional period of healing in regards to prior pain here. It's on your mind right now, a bouquet. In your heart, I see like that you want love, and you may have somebody on your mind that you do have feelings for, that could have water in their chart, does not have to, that might be independent, that you wanna bring an offer to or have some new beginning with, but you're scared to fucking death, or you fucked it up, or something like this, or like because of your past, you're afraid to be in a marriage, something like this. Hold on. Um, there may be some issues, you may have been um, on the fence about give and take or child support or other issues not having to do with this person, okay? that you were worried about, something like this. What is this Two of Pentacles? I'm not gonna speak on that until I play more over here. What is this Seven of Wands? There's somebody that you left out in the cold or that left you out on the cold. I have the world in reverse here with the Five of, on this Two of Pentacles. I have the world in reverse, the Five of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. There's some languishing ending or some achievement that didn't happen if you don't make a decision, but I do show that some of you are going to make a decision. I'm not going to speak on it yet until I pull that six of wands. Oof, king of pentacles, and I have the queen over here. Ace of cups in reverse and the king of swords. This is you. For a lot of you, this is you. This this King of Swords is you. Um, or another relationship, okay? Could be with another masculine, does not have to be. I have, but it's a domesticated partnership. Might be one in the past. You're blocking out or you did block out or something like this. Where the love was gone and so now you've closed yourself off to love or something like this. I have the King of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups in reverse and the King of Swords and a Seven of Wands, which is a block. Okay, um, give me the magician. Some of you may have dealt with a third party situation or now you have third party interference. You had third party interference on a contract or a relationship or something like this. Um, this magician in reverse, I get four of cups Three of, three of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. You may have been waiting on a contract. Hang on a second. Give me this. Give me this sign of Pentacles. Um, this Nine of Pentacles in reverse, okay? Um, I do show that you're going to really, really work on something, okay? Um, this is some boss daddy energy right here on this Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody may be a business owner or heavily engaged in their work that you have their eye. If you have your eye on somebody, somebody is like, may have somebody else come in. I've got the sun here, the emperor, and the eight of pentacles on the nine of pentacles in reverse. So you will be happy again in love. 
and have somebody that works on something with you if that's what you're looking for and you don't have it and you're afraid of it or something like this. For others of you, this could be a symbol that um, this person that you find is a business owner. They could have Aries and um, some Leo in their chart. Or the person that finds them might. Okay. Um, okay. Um, take it as it resonates. Hold on one second. I want this Six of Wands right here. On the Six of Wands, ooh, I love this. Holy shit, now I have the Empress. Okay. All's well that ends well. Um, on the Six of Wands, you have three sixes, which is universal support. Okay, it's three sixes, I, I mean, is very, very fortuitous, okay? It's obviously, a, it's also highly tied, six is tied to Venus as well, all right, which is your ruling planet. Um, I have the Empress over here. I have the Six of Wands, the Six of Cups, the Six of Wands again as a clarifier that came out, and the Empress, okay? And I have the Emperor right here. So I do feel like if you, this could be too, when you know, I see, if you had doubts of whether this person was for you, somebody that you are not with right now, if you are not with this person. If you already have your eye on this person, you are not with this person. You may not even be talking to them. Um, this person is for you, okay? Um, you will have a victory with them. Um, if you are wondering if you are ever going to fall in love again, you will, okay? Um, it, and, and the connection will be a soul level connection here. Six of Cups. That's a very nostalgic soul level connection. Six of Wands is a victory, the Empress. There you are, or there somebody else is, all right? Um, those are the highest court cards besides the Hierophant and the, um, the Hierophant and the High Priestess, okay? Um, this person is a divine feminine figure to you if you're, you know, into women and if you you know but if even if you are a masculine you can show up as the empress but this is related to venus so this person um has a very they're abundant they're you know um a business owner they're very fertile you know fertile as to business fertile as to creation very loving very nurturing okay the emperor is over here take them as they resonate um Take them as they resonate, um, but you need to release this this block, or you need to block out somebody else that's blocking your ability to go after love again. And that person might be you. You might be blocking yourself. It may not be another person, but there are indicators here that there was another marriage previously, or another live-in, or something like that. Okay, take it as it resonates, Taurus. Um, I'm gonna pull some advice for you. Is there anything else I needed to pull on? And then um, we'll close it out. Okay? Enjoy it. I think I've, I've been over an hour. I'm, I'm sure I have. Um, give me some advice for my Taurus. I will be doing a singled and troubled for you guys. I will be pulling on Pluto. Um, there's something very beautiful and fortunate going on with your chart here. All over the freaking place. Um, all over the place. And like I said, the inklings you have now, the inklings you have now, um, you may be, you may need to fight or compete for somebody a little bit here or something. Um, but the inklings you have now about what you want are back in line with the true path. So even if you've had some instability, okay, don't give up on your belief in anything because all of this stuff looks freaking gorgeous. Advice from the universe, Knight of Cups, which was your first position down here. Okay. Knight of Cups, Three of Swords, and the world. The advice here is like to reach a new cycle and a new level in love. You need to let go of heartbreak. You know, you may need to heal some heartbreak if you broke somebody else's heart or you're not talking to them, but you want this person, you know, and, um, you know, the advice of, you know, how are you ever going to get over 
something is like you have to try again, you have to act, you have to, Knight of Cups, this Knight of Cups acts. You know what else gets you moving? Freaking Three of Swords. That gets you moving. All right, um, close the cycle out on the heartbreak. Okay, um, you will have brand new, amazing, amazing things. Okay. All right, and um, like I said, a lot of changes can happen when Uranus is going through whatever, but whatever you're like, whatever came up in those retrograde periods, if you got yourself stuck again, you know, you're in line right now, these inklings you're getting about shit, what did I do, or I'm not happy with this or that, or I wanna go after this or that, can be done, can be done. And if this is about a creative offer, it's gonna be gorgeous, all right? The cycle is going to close on the heartbreak that you've been through in the past. Okay, um, so I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful ride. Let me know how it goes. The Knight of Wands and the Emperor is boss up. <laughs> Enjoy. Enjoy, Taurus.